Hey guys, it's Ben from Platinum RC back again, and today we're going to be with the Tyrannus QX7. And what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you guys how we got it to work with the FPV simulator Freerider. I've watched some other videos and tutorials on how to get it to work, but none of them worked, so this is a lot simpler way to get to work that I figured out myself. So, I don't know if this will work with the, but we're going to, yeah, be showing you guys how to get it to work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new model. You're going to want to model name, let's just name it, simulator or sim so we know what it so we know what it's for and I mess that up and real quick I just gotta exit out of this and get back to the R okay sim so then the next thing you want you're gonna want to do is press page until you get to inputs you're gonna wanna long click enter and then press edit you want to go down to weight and move weight all the way down to 50 now all the other videos that did not work it used complicated things and you had to change like offset and expo and all that but to get it to actually work we're not going to have to do all of that so let's go to this one, change all the inputs down to 50 on weight, elevator, and rudder. Okay, now that you changed all the inputs, that's actually all you're going to have to do to get it to work is just change every input, every input's weight down to 50. So I'm going to plug it into my computer and I'll show you all me calibrating it and what it does if you do not, if you change expo and all of that. So now we're going to calibrate the controller. So all the sticks are centered. And then hold your left hand stick to left while clicking OK. Now I, I found out that you have to push your stick all the way to the end in order for it to calibrate. You can't, you don't click it while you're still moving it to the left. It doesn't work like that. So let's move this one all the way up to the top and press OK all the way to the left okay and then finally pitch all the way up okay and then as you all can see as I'm moving the sticks the inputs on the computer are changing exactly as I'm moving each stick now I'm going to show you all that if you follow I'm not going to name names but if you follow some of the other tutorials, you will not get this. So I'm going to show you all again what happens if you change X bone curves and all that. Okay, so now as y'all can see, we have all the sticks centered, but yet the two little dots right here, those are already up a bit. So we're going to... So even though the sticks are centered, they're still up, but we're still going to press OK. So we're going to hold left hand stick to left and clicking OK. Left stick up, click OK. Right stick to the left, click OK. And then right stick up, OK. So then let's just center it. Now the throttle and the 
that's all perfectly fine and everything, but the pitch and the yaw, just with the stick centered, it's all the way into the other graph. And then it only gets to the Y axis if I push the right stick all the way to the left. And with up and down, it I'm moving it straight up and straight down, yet it's, yet it's still going all to the side and everything. So that's that's what happens if you calibrate it with what other people say to do, but if you just change all the inputs weights to 50, then you will actually work perfectly fine. Now again, I'll show y'all, let me get out the sim and go back to my first one. Yeah, select the model page, exit. So now we're at the FPV Freerider, my first one. Now let's calibrate the controller. All the sticks are centered. Move left hand stick to left. Click OK. Up. Click OK. Right stick to left. OK. And then right stick up. OK. So now all the sticks move perfectly as move perfectly where I'm putting them on the graph. So hopefully that this video helped y'all. Again, I don't know. I don't know if this will work for every simulator, every radio. I just really don't know. But I know for a fact it works on the Tyrannus QX7. Again, hopefully this helps you. Like and subscribe and I'll see y'all again.